what is up everybody welcome back to part two this is step two this right here is freaking game changing this is so freaking important and most people miss it man um here's what you want to do okay if you didn't watch yesterday's video that's step one like none of this stuff is going to make sense and none of this stuff's going to matter if you don't implement step one and that's yesterday's video that is installing your facebook pixel so there's a link in the description that's for step one watch that video okay um, what I'm going to do to do to this one is I'm going to the same pages that we were working with the same pages that we installed the Facebook pixel on, right? We got our pixel on all these pages. Now, um, pixel on this one on the thank you for registering page. Um, this one for the appointment confirmed pixel is on this one. What we want to do now is we want to create custom audiences around these three pages. Now, why is that so important as you start to run Facebook ads and Instagram ads? and you're running them and, and let's even say a YouTube ad, same exact thing, but that'll be all tracked through Google and through YouTube. But in this case with Facebook, you're running a Facebook or an Instagram ad, right? People are clicking on learn more. They are coming to this landing page. There's going to be X amount that do not opt in. Okay. So there's going to be X amount that do not hit that red button. They saw your ad. They came over here. And for whatever reason, they did not give up their information. Okay. They didn't, they did not click the red button. However, they landed here, right? So for you to see my ad, for you to click on learn more, for you to come here and for whatever reason you didn't opt in, there was still some kind of interest. There was some type of engagement. And what I want to do is I want to be able to categorize those visitors put all into what Facebook calls a custom audience and be able to use that audience in the future when I run future ads. Okay. Um, that's super important. That's the landing page. Now let's say for example, they do come over here and they hit the red button. Once they enter the, once they click the red button and enter their name and email, that becomes a lead. Then they land on this page. I want to be able to set up a custom audience and build an audience around everyone who lands here because anyone who lands here is an actual lead. Now, why is that so important to have a custom audience? Because as I go run Facebook ad number two, I can then exclude these people from ever seeing it again, from ever seeing Facebook ad number two, three, four, five, because I don't need to keep sending, showing them ads. They've already opted in. Now, if I'm running a different ad for a completely different product, then I can include these people and retarget everyone who landed here because that right there is super powerful and I can either retarget them or I can exclude them from, from, from ever seeing another ad. So a custom audience, you guys, is going gonna, is gonna to make sure, is going gonna to allow you to make sure that you're not running ads to the same people who already bought your shit or whoever who or to those who who already opted in okay it blows my mind on some of the best marketers some of the best marketers some people that i follow that i consider mentors to me where all opt in to their landing page i'll even buy their course and for the next four months i keep seeing their ad i'm like holy crap shout out to dan henry but he's one of them it's like damn bro I spent five grand on your course. How do you not know to segment that custom audience? How do you not know? Which he does know. I learned all this shit from him. It's like, dang. So, so, so in, in, to tell you the truth, in his defense, he's not even running his ads anymore. He has a, an ad manager running those ads for him. So although his ads guy, his Facebook ad guy is probably the best of the best, it's these little things that they miss. I bought his stuff. And I continue to see his freaking ads. I'm like, dude, bro, like you should exclude that audience. The people who bought your shit, who landed on the thank you for purchase purchasing page. That's a custom audience. Those, that audience needs to be excluded from any future ad because all you're doing is spending money on people who already bought your stuff. And, and when you're promoting the same exact offer, that's when you're wasting money. Now I can understand if you're promoting a different offer. Okay, cool. Let's target the people who bought your last one. Maybe they'll be, they'll be interested in buying this next one. But if it's the same damn offer, you need to exclude. Like you need to exclude those 
customers or those leads. That's why this has to be a custom audience, okay? And then those people who actually scheduled an appointment, I want to do the same with them. I need to track the people who land here. Now, now video number one, step one, yesterday's video talks about the pixel and installing the pixel to be able to, to be able to do all this. Now that we have the pixel, now we can do all this. So now we can exclude all those who actually already scheduled an appointment. So for those of you that are maybe real estate agents or for those of you that are coaches or consultants or anything like that, and you're going for appointments, you're driving people to a landing page, they're scheduling an appointment with you, and then they come to this page, appointment confirmed. I need to be able to create a custom audience so I can then exclude these people from ever seeing future ads. Now, if I have a completely different offer and now I want to target everyone who actually scheduled an appointment. I could do that too. So that's why the custom audience man is so, so important for including them in future ads to retarget them or to exclude them from um, seeing future ads. Okay. So here's how we're going to do it. Come into your Facebook page, click on create, click on add, and that's going to bring you over here to the ads manager. Okay. This is the setup. This is where everything happens. As I told you in yesterday's video, bookmark this page. This is where it all happens. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on these dots up in the top left, and we're going to scroll down to audiences right there. And we're going to create three, three audiences. Okay. So, um, Audience number one is going to be page visitors, everyone who lands on the page but does not land on the thank you page, okay? That's one custom audience that is powerful because, again, you're going to have a large percentage of people who land here that don't opt in, and, and you want to be able to use that data for future advertising, okay? So let's come into the audiences, and all we're going to do is we're going to hit the blue button create an audience and we're going to base it off of off a website now if i have a customer list if i have a huge list of, of people that opted into my email list or purchased my products in the past i can create a custom audience around all of these different activities people who engage in my instagram profile people who engage in my facebook post um marketplace listings lead form if you're running lead generation ads you can create custom audiences of everyone who, who engages with that lead form. Maybe they clicked on your learn more button, the Facebook lead form pops up, but they don't fill it out. I can create a custom audience and retarget all those people. Video is the most powerful, man. If you, you know, hear me on any of these strategy calls that I'm doing with, with business owners, video, 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 video content is what you need to be running ads on, man. In my personal opinion, I, I truly believe that none of you guys would be here on my YouTube channel if it wasn't for my video, right? If I was putting out blog posts, none of you guys would be reading that shit. You guys are here because you're seeing me on video and that is the most powerful form of marketing. So when it comes to video on Facebook and running ads on your videos on Facebook, you could start creating custom audiences of all those who actually watch it. That's powerful. So if you put out a three minute video, you could start, you can create a custom audience and track everyone who watched half of it. Everyone who watched 25% of it, everyone who watched 75% of it, everyone who watched the whole entire video, you can create all these custom audiences and use that to retarget people in the future, right? If you sat there and watched half of my three minute video, there was for sure some interest. You may not have clicked learn more. You may have not gone to my webpage and entered your name and email, but you sat there for a minute and a half to watch a 30, a three minute video there was some interest. There's no way in hell anyone's going to sit there for a minute and a half and watch your crap if they're not interested. Even a one minute video, there's no way in hell someone's going to sit there and watch it for 30 seconds and not have any type of interest. Like who does that? I don't do that. Like I'll see something for five seconds and I'll keep scrolling. You know what I mean? So video custom audiences around video can be very, very powerful. So in this case, we're going to do website. I got these three pages up here at the top. I'm going to create custom audiences around these three pages, okay? So the first one is going to be, I'm going to hit the drop down, and it's going to be people who visited specific pages. And that's going to be this first landing page, okay? This first, um, um, first page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and copy the entire URL after the forward slash, okay? I don't need the HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash. I need everything after it, okay? So, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually go to, because sometimes as you pull up pages, 
these characters add at the end for, for whatever reason, whatever, wherever you're clicking that link from, sometimes there's, there's added numbers. So I'm gonna just go back to, my, to the actual link. Let me go back to the actual um, raw link and let me grab it from there. So this is the page right here. Let me just double check to make sure those characters are what they are. Okay, so QM, okay, so those are what they are and that's fine. And you know what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna rename it. I'm gonna rename it um, and I'm gonna rename it ASEA. I'm glad I did that right now. So let me copy this and I'm gonna open up this. Actually, you know what? Actually, here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna rename it. And I can have my own URL. Like I can, I can, I can you know, integrate my own domain, my custom domain, um, which we already have one right here. But um, in this case, we're going to just use the default Karcher one. And that's totally fine for this case. Okay, so, I'm, so that's what I'm gonna name. It. I'm gonna name it Redox. It's specific to the actual product that Marlin is working on. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, paste it in here, reopen it. And that is the new link. That's the new forward slash. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna simply paste it in right there. Bam, and I can I could track people who visited that page in the last 30 days. I can go up to the to people in the last 180 days, um, which is super powerful. And then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it a step further, okay? And when they opt in, they come over here, they click the red button, they opt in, they come to this thank you for registering page, okay? This is the URL right now. I'm actually going to change that while I'm at it. Let me close this out. Let me go to the thank you for registering. I'm gonna get code and I'm gonna edit that and I'm gonna put thank you. So that's gonna be that. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna reopen this page, repaste the new URL and that is the new URL, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. We're in the same custom audience, right? We're focused on people who land on the first page, but I'm going to be very specific. This custom audience is going to be people who land on the first page, but have not landed on the thank you page. Okay. So people who visit specific pages, I'm going to exclude anyone who lands on the thank you page because the thank you page is gonna be its own custom audience, okay? So when you come to the landing page, you enter your name and email, you go to the thank you page. When you come to the landing page and you don't enter your name and email, you're still on the landing page. So I don't wanna put that in one category, I gotta segment them. I gotta know who lands only on the landing page and not on the thank you page. Who lands only on the thank you page, that has to be very specific, okay? So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to create an audience of people who visited the page and the page only. Okay. So I'm excluding the thank you page and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to name it down here. I'm going to put a SIA web site visitors only. Okay. So that right there becomes a powerful audience because as I mentioned, you're going to run Facebook ads and a good percentage, let's just call it, let's call it 80%, eight out of 10 people who land on that page will not opt in the first time around. So this right here is that specific audience. Those eight out of 10 people, there was an interest. There's no way in hell you would have just came on my page. You would have not clicked on my ad. You would have not clicked learn more. If there was absolutely zero interest, there was an interest there somehow, some way for whatever reason, you didn't fill out my form and that's fine. I'm going to track it and I'm going to retarget you and I'm going to continue to get back in front of you through that newsfeed by running feature ads to this custom audience. Okay. So I'm going to go website visitors only, and we're going to create that audience and boom, that becomes our first audience. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and create another one, custom audience. Now this one is going to be based on just the thank you page. So these are people who are actually leads, okay? They landed on this page. So people 
who visited specific page and I'll take this 30 up to 180 and it all depends on your retargeting. If you're retargeting people who landed there within the last 30 days, then that's a good audience. If you want to retarget people who land in the last 180 days, then that's, that's this audience. So you can create multiple audiences. One can be 180. The other one could be 30, right? So it depends on how, how, how frequently you're retargeting and how urgent your offer is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to paste it in right there and I don't need to exclude anyone. Um, in fact, you know what, let's exclude people who land on the appointment page. So again, we're making it very, very specific. These are people who landed on the thank you page. So they are a lead. However, they never scheduled an appointment with us. So I want that list. I want that audience to be very specific. So let me rename this one. This is um, appointment confirmed. Let's go appointment confirmed. Perfect. That becomes the new URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to exclude this audience. Okay. So this right here is leads. These are people who landed on the thank you page. They filled out the form, right? But I'm going to exclude anyone who filled out, who, 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 who landed on this page because, because those who land on this page actually scheduled an appointment. Okay. So let's go, let's go ASEA leads who have not scheduled appointment. Very specific, you guys. Very, very specific. Create audience, hit done, bam. That's there right there. So again, I can use these audiences to retarget. So therefore I'm including them in my, in my ad setup, or I can use them to exclude them from seeing any future ads. That's why this is so important. Okay. So let's do the last one, which are those people who landed here. And we're going to call those people scheduled appointments. Okay. So custom audience, again, we're going to go website and I'm going to, I'm going to go people who visited and I'll take this up to 180 and grab this link up here, copy that, paste it there. And, um, I don't need to exclude any other, any other page. So I'm going to, I'm going to put, um, a SIA and a C is just the name of, of his company. Um, they market like health and wellness products. Amazing, amazing products. ASEA um, scheduled appointments. Very, very specific. So we create audience, hit done, and there it is there, you guys. So again, if I'm running ads to get people to schedule an appointment, I'm going to exclude this audience because those are folks who already did, right? They don't need to keep seeing my appointment ad, right? So here's what I'm gonna do now. As I come over here to the ad setup, okay? I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click on the green button. Let's go back to the, um, to the ads manager. Okay, so let's click on this ads manager, hit those dots, click ads manager. And as I mentioned in the previous video, yesterday's video, you wanna bookmark this page right here. You're bookmarking the ad setup um page and then you're bookmarking this dashboard right here okay and always make sure you're in the correct ad account hit this drop down always make sure you're in the correct ad account okay because sometimes by default as you're navigating through the system facebook will push you around into different accounts so now as i come in here and i create a new ad okay here's the power so what i'd be what i be what what i would be doing and if you're in real estate or any of those related categories always make sure you check this box choose the correct um, um, category and, and go from there. But if you're not in any of those, uncheck it, you don't need it. Okay, so in this case, what we're doing is we're gonna go for conversions. We're looking to capture leads, right? We're looking to get people to opt in or we're looking to, to get people to schedule an appointment or we're looking to get people to buy our product, right? So it would be conversions. And let me just walk you through the, the first or the second step right here. First step is choosing the objective, conversions. 
Second step is this ad set, but here's where the custom audiences play a part. Okay. Um, and then, and then, and then don't miss tomorrow's video. Don't miss step three. Okay. That's going to be custom conversions. You see it red right here. That's what I'm going over in step three. Okay. That's, that's the next video. So depending on when you're watching this, you'll either see that link in the description or you'll see that, that video pop up at the end right here. Um, so make sure you watch all the damn videos. Step one, two, this is step two, but step three is going to be custom conversions. We're not there just yet. That's, that's the next video. But right here, as I come into the ad set, right, I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, and I'm going to go down to audiences right here. This is where I can now see my custom audiences. Now, when I click on this box, it's going to have a drop down. These are my custom audiences. Now it shows all and, and that's fine because that's, those are the only ones I have. But if I hover over here, custom audiences, those are the same ones. So now if I'm on ad number two, cause right now there's no data, right? There's a brand new account. We haven't read any ads, brand new pixel, brand new pages, everything. But as we start to run ads and we start to get the pixel, some data, then we'll, we'll start capturing leads. Obviously we'll start getting appointments. We'll start getting people to the landing page. That's when I can start including these. So let's say for example, we're on ad number three, three at this point, what I would do is I would retarget all of the website visitors. And then I would exclude, click the box. I would exclude anyone who scheduled an appointment. And I would also exclude leads bam right there and then i can come down and i can also you know my targeting my age the gender the detailed targeting i can i can do all that as well you know choose the locations all that stuff i can i can come in here and and, and target my audience or target my local area whatever it may be all that remains the same but the power is in these custom audiences now once you have these custom audiences really cranking, once you have the pixel, the data just firing, right? You have, you've captured a ton of leads. Um, I think, I think, I think the magic number is a hundred. Once you capture 100 leads or once, once you get 100 scheduled appointments, that's when you can turn around and create lookalike audiences around these custom audiences. Okay. That'll be a whole nother video, but you guys, again, these videos, this, three-part series is for the beginner. You don't need lookalike audiences right, right now. Um, let's get these custom audiences, some data. Let's start capturing some leads. And then you can turn around and create a lookalike audience around the custom audience. Okay. But this right here is beginner friendly. This right here is how you'll start crushing it out the gates and not spending an arm and a leg targeting the wrong people or targeting the people who already opted into your stuff. You don't want to do that. Okay. So this is how you do it. This is custom audiences. That's the importance right there, you guys. And that's a perfect setup. I'm going to retarget everyone who visits my website. And again, I'm speaking of ad number three, four, five. That's where this is going to play a part. But I'm going to retarget website visitors who have not landed on the thank you page or scheduled an appointment yet. And then I'm going to exclude all those who have. Okay. So that right there, you guys, is custom audiences. Watch the next video. Watch yesterday's video. Watch all three steps because, again, this is for those who are looking to capture leads, schedule appointments, or make sales online. These are the most important three steps. All right, guys, so I'll see you on the next video. Over now.